Celtic planning to replace £2.5 million star in January, two transfers targeted. Celtic are looking to sign a fullback and a striker in the January transfer window with the Scottish Premiership champions potentially preparing for life without Josip Juranovic. There has been, over the last 10 months or so, tentative interest in a man who has made quite the impression since joining Celtic from Croatian football for a bargain £2.5 million. Celtic FC are under no illusions that, if Juranovic stands out on the biggest of stages, that interest may turn into something more concrete. Especially with rumoured suitors Manchester United in the market for a right-back. Juranovic should be one of the first names on the Croatia team sheet in Qatar. And Celtic, who wasted little time bringing in Japanese trio Rio Hat 8, Daisen Maeda and Yosuke Idaguchi last January, are determined to avoid being caught cold, the daily record claiming that replacements for Juranovic are already being lined up. Celtic look set to bring in another Far East import, Vissel Kobe's Yuki Kobayashi. The 22-year-old is unlikely to fit the bill as a Juranovic successor, however, given his preference for a centre-half role. Celtic are said to be in the market for a centre-forward. Slovakia international Ladislav Almasy is one potential option. The target man, who scored 16 times last season for Banik Ostrava, spoke about a potential move to Parkhead this week. He is a genuine real threat at 6 feet 6 inches, and with five goals in his last five games. Celtic reportedly won club keeping tabs on the rangy 23-year-old. In other Celtic FC news, the manager will lead his team out in Sydney, but says he'd be in the stands with the Aussie Celtic fans if he wasn't. Angie Postacoglu knows exactly what fans in the stands in his homeland will be thinking about these Sydney Cup clashes. Because if he wasn't Celtic manager, he would be right in there with them. Postacoglu doesn't see today's game against Sydney FC and Sunday's encounter against Everton as just a couple of bounce matches. He sees them as a chance to give something back to the legions of expat fans and supporters who have travelled around the world to cheer on their heroes. And deep down there's also a part of him desperate to put on a show for the Australian public who have been roaring him on from afar. Our experience was getting up at 2 or 3 in the morning to watch the football from the other side of the world. So, if I wasn't manager tomorrow I'd probably be at the game. It has been my experience growing up here, so I know what that feels like watching in the early hours of the morning. It's why it's really important for us to put on a good performance in the first game and on Sunday and make sure that the people who come to the game feel excited by what they get to see. To bring such a big club here as a manager, it will be special and I'm looking forward to it. Postacoglu will send his men out full throttle as always and look to put on a show. On that note can't wait to see this I'm off to the pub for breakfast have a great day. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up.